Oh no, you're a Rutan. Your HP times level has nothing against my level one game killer. Heroes they can be. Hey, does game killer even get tagged correctly? Thanks for messing around. It's more vampire survivors. Beswick. Zeacinta is never going to stop moving on Neo Galaga. Challenge mode. Challenge mode. Challenge mode. Now, I initially thought to do this with Brave Story in order to make sure I could never ever stop moving. But you know, life happens. And it's really hard to do things when life happens. So that's why I'm getting Flash Arrow and Knife, so I could actually go up and down. And Duplicator is there to turn Flash Arrow into a murder machine. And I already maxed out on them. So now I can grab all these weapon pickups, because like I said, they do not count. The game says they don't count. Yay, two amount on Flash Arrow. Nothing surviving that. And then I just run back and forth on this bridge till I max out and I will limit break immediately. Or random will always limit break immediately just so I don't mess it up again. Yep, barely anything in the flash air was doing 100. Yeah, as for my other ones, passives, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Rapid fire. that whipping going. Vento Sacro? More like Vento Winnow. All them knives. Yeah, it turns out when they're not beefed up by inverse, these guys are a lot weaker. Who knew? Who knew? Besides everyone that existed ever. And since I... Now, I could take the Road of Honor and just not grab the power-ups at all. But this is, well, very... This is about the time I would start uploading the video and have it just barely finish by the time I'm starting this recording. So, yay. Yay. Alright, there's one more case. Once I get bouncy stuff, then these two will be much better. But that will be for 11 minutes. Also, Vento Sacro will keep doing things, I guess. Oh, well. Wait, no, it won't be for 11 minutes. There's a Arcana chest on this map. Flash Arrow really needs the Iron Blue Will Bounce. Without it, it just cannot accomplish a bloody thing. Once you get it, though, bam, you can get that under the damage in going easy peasy. Okay, 174 with being at level 2? 3? In order to maximize my not moving, like I said, random always, even if it's wholly inefficient. Wanted knife up first just because it's more valuable for what I need at the moment. You know, going up and down. The weaknesses of Zeacintha. At least she gets half of everything at level up. That makes her the most efficient. And uh, no, it's not Waltz of Pearls, it is the Iron Blue Will. Because of that, I will be going through the shortest stages I can and Skipping Space 54, which for some reason I skipped on Diavano, for a reason I do not quite understand. Wait, I can just hold my joystick in the direction I need. I don't like... ...affects anything. I don't. Uh, yeah, look at them arrows going around. 500 damage? That's ridiculous. Hmm. Oh yeah, I, get, I should get Slash. It is normal, so it's not any I mean, it's burst. Dang it, why did I take my hand off? 
so used to just taking my hand off the joystick when the level up screen comes up. And random always for inefficiency. Right, anyway, once I get slashed, the damage for the arrows are going to go crazy. Why did I proc the Atlantean? That was the worst possible thing I could have done. Okay. Alright, gonna pump out the damage. Nato Sacro really does a lot of raw DPS, but hard to hit with it. It's got that whole, you want to move as fast as possible thing going. Well, you had no health. And there's a Drowner. Okay, let me see if there was a grenade somewhere around here. Well, that didn't last long. Okay, you're not an evolution chest. Why are you going so slow? That's weird. Is it really, really that slow normally? You're the evolution chest boss. Give me millionaire. Nope, oh, thousand edge. Well, oh, still fine. Strangely, it seems to be firing slower. Oh, did he explode? No. Well, he'll pop out at 10, which gives me an actually... He should drop an evolution chest, right? Why is he so slow all of a sudden? Is there a patch I wasn't aware of? Oh, double luck back to back? That was crazy. 142 luck means Slash is going to go off the chain. It looks like... Right, I didn't take him out with a grenade or anything, so of course he's not dropping the chest. It's not dropping the chest. Gotta get that Ars Gouda in. The Reaper is the only one referred to as he. Everyone else is in it. Or are they. There's the Arcana R thing. Slashing them all in half. I got five revives. I don't need more revives. Yep, there's Flash Arrow, Millionaire, Thousand Edge, and Knife all here. Now watch them crits explode. Oh, it's so, so much easier outside inverse. It's crazy. I might have, honestly, it feels like with how fast they're going down just now. It was like there was like a number issue with inverse. Because, you know, even if my damage is worse, it still should have been fine enough to go through it. And now I just need to find that chest. Is this it? No, that's something else entirely. And I will not be going after Big Fuzz because, well, I stopped for a long time. I can't have that. Yep, there's some 1500s. Oh, man, there's so many on the arrow, too. And I can't stop a moving. Can't stop a moving. And now, a millionaire, yay! Don't stop moving. Can't stop moving. I think with enough power-ups. I mean, you know, Pasta Tongue is, and, you know, Eleanor's stuff. That all gets its own multipliers off of whatever stat. Those can scale out incredible. You know, Flash Arrow. It does a lot, too. It's really deceptive just because of how bad Flash Arrow at base is. You can pull out the number correctly and whomp them real good. And you dig it. And Thousand Edge is here too. Well, actually, it's more like Vanto Sacro is here too because it's hitting like one enemy every hour. 
hour. I'm not gonna play this for an hour. I can't play this for an hour. I don't have that kind of time. Hey, a vacuum. Surprisingly large amount of kills, considering. Well, once they get hardier, it'll be harder. <laughs> yeah, maybe there was a patch that just lowered them by default. Because when the first DLC first came out, there was a lot of people in the Discord wondering not being able to get six digit kills and here I am with what's blatantly a very not efficient setup on hurry too it almost at 36k you know my first run with Pungnala I I hit 100k off the power of Godai's shuffle so maybe I should ask that in Discord, you know? But I don't have any time to do that, because I have to do everything ASAP. Because this is not going to be 4K'd by the time it gets posted. Unless I push the post time back, which I really probably should. But it seems the later I post it, the more views it gets at the start. Also, I'm inadvertently competing with Dex, but that's because YouTube's anyway, like I said, that this was the most profitable the most watched video time for me for a while. Then it switched to two hours or earlier. And like, why? Maybe, and I can't actually keep up with that level of hosting as I'm basically doing this so close to it. I would still be playing the game by the time that happens, oh. And I have other real life Dopey commitments to consider, too. Oh. That's really the only thing Vento Sacro is going to be able to hit. Anything else is getting millionaire or a thousand edged out. And just think of how much stronger thousand edge and millionaire are going to be doing if they were just pure Silent Old Sanctuary. It'd be so much. Still baffled by Gennaro losing his very first rounds. Anyway, I sure do hope that I'll actually have this video up and not interrupt my stream for our tree and bell been ringing. So, let's see, how's it going? Yeah, I don't care to be live streaming Vampire Survivors anymore. It's not that interesting. Who watch? I really do need to make some other things. Make some tips and tricks videos for Starship Troopers Extermination. That would be a good fun time, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I do actually wake up enough to actually get a video up. Because boy howdy am I so far behind on everything. Because I can't take a day off of work, except to slam out the latest releases. Ha 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 ha. I can't get the time to catch you up. Or even refresh my batteries as it were. Beep poop, I am robot. Teach me the human emotion of hatred. Wow, you lasted no time at all, Taka. That's incredible. Each my kill count's going up like mad. Mostly because, heck, probably not because of the bad wave showing up. They're actually slower than the normal mobs here. Ow. 
80k. I might actually break 100k on hurry, on accident. That's Flash Heroin Millionaire for you. Now that I actually know how it works, yeah, I think Flash Heroin is a lot better. I just, you know... When you first see it, it's hard to tell how it works. Because it's slow, basically doesn't do the damage to do it. It doesn't do enough pierce. Once you've worked out how it functions, it's a lot better. Pure raw damage is worth a lot. It was big and fuzz. Can I hit 17k before three minutes is up? We'll see. We'll see. Probably not, though. With all these big, hardy dragon mobs up here. Oh, I think I saw a five-digit hit there. Kinda, kinda hard to see. Seeing a bunch of 2Ks, at least. Nope. Does not look like I'll be hitting 15K. Oh, hey, vacuum. That'll fire out enough things that I'll blam, 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 blam. That'll wipe them all out. Pretty high level. At least scaling might is excellent. So excellent. Even if it's inferior to some other characters, it's still there. But yeah, she surpassed Antonio. She surpassed all our kids at this point. Well, actually, no. Uh, is the one that gets... No, what am I talking about? Antonio is the only one that actually boosts one of those stats. Malda is XP. Pescalina is cooldown. And Gennaro is... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Gennaro is a mount. Yep, 32.3 million on Millionaire. Pretty dang good. Okay, so not moving worked out pretty dang well on Neo Galaga. Let's see how that luck keeps out in the boss rash. Poorly, I bet. Oh no, wait, I'm cheesing this with Game Killer. Yay, Game Killer. Seriously, Game Killer completely changes the paradigm of how this one works. Oh wait, also completely changes the paradigm of what I get. Uh-oh. I can't do anything here. Wait, bosses drop chests. Chests get me whip, is all I have. Well, that. Well, I've already broken it for this, so. So I'm not getting my triple wave rolls in, but hey, whatever. I can make up for it on the other stage, which will be Moon Glow. I do not want to deal with anything. So wait. Oh, wait. I never unbound Vento Sacro. Oops. That explains some things. Well, this is going to be weird. Pure game killer, huh? Pure sneezing. I'm not even bothering to spawn in the bosses. It does nothing. Oh, that was annoying. Okay, anyway. The purest of game killers. No weapons, no passives. Inadvertent. Who could have guessed that would happen? On the stage where it's most helpful because you don't have to deal with those gigantic bloody health bars again. Watch, even the hag will go down in no time at all. See, look at her die. Die horribly. Look at the hag she is. And yet this dang wolfie here is up. Oh, probably because I can't really aim at him all that well. 
But now it is down. Once and for all. Ag, go away. They stand no chance. What they've got. Uh, thing even do here. That does nothing. That does nothing. That does nothing. Guess grab awake. So what else am I gonna grab? So yeah, if you're ever having trouble with boss rash, just throw on game killer and bam, you win. Artist waves are all HP times level, and without levels, they're all stuck at one, being hit by all this nonsense. Even the weakens can't take out much of it. And if you're on inverse, you can wait till he actually gets some power ups or mad groove some in. I totally could have done. Huh. Oh, whatever. And I want to mess with the Atlanteans? Ha, ah, that's totally it. Oh, look at all the stage killers slowly making their way inside. They are breaking through on to the other side. Nope, oh, that wasn't good. Not that I should be needing it, but still. Alright, over halfway through. Then easy peasy, but that's what Game Killer does for you on the boss rash. Oh wow, they're very durable. What? There was something there? But yeah, I guess they're not HP times level. They're raw damage, and I don't have anything to defend myself with. Or they're raw HP. Oh, boy. I mean, the golems will be fine, because they're not. They're HP times level. Eyeball. Eyeball. There we go. Yeah, I ran into, like, the worst possible mob for me. Something that's just got innate durability. Instead of HP times level durability. Yeah, eyeballs are also HP times level. So that's why they're going down like nothing. Oh, hey, you. Oh, right. I have to do things. Um. Erm. Kessir Bonde. No point in Magrub at this point. Yeah, that figures. Oh, I need to... I should have saved all those gems. Just me and Ender. Just me and the Ender. Ouch. This is not good. Don't run into Stalker, kids. Don't run into Stalker. There's one down. There's many down, yay! And before even the robots spawn in. Yeah, look at them get trounced through Game Killer. They are so reliant on their high HP times level scaling that against this, they're nothing. They lost a lot of lives, though. This is not a character that scales, too. They can barely show up on the screen, huh? Uh-oh, now I got a machine gun. Oh, that was bad. Could have saved the vacuum from when the Gyo Rutans showed up.
Damn. Oh, they're all done. Oh no, Kyoru Rutan. Your HP times level has nothing against my level 1 game killer. Heuristic can be. Wait, does Game Killer even get tagged correctly in the end screen? It's not something I really run a lot, so I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. 25k kills on Boss Rash. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, Game Killer does show up. 6 million. End of Sacred 7.3. 16.2 DPS. Hilarious. Hilarious. And to Moon Glowing, she is a going. Da -da -da. I'm so desperate for time, that's why I'm doing this. Alrighty. Da -da -da. Where are my power ups? You are not my power ups. One of you is my power up. Yay, empty dome. Everyone loves Empty Tome. Hey, what was my third one? Oh, oh, did you? Not wings. Oh, it was Duplicator. Yeah, to beef up Flash Arrow. And only Flash Arrow. Well, actually, no, they all get the benefit of it, don't they? Alrighty, time to keep on the always moving challenge. Also, Duplicator is here. Or also, Game Killer in the purest form is here. Wait, why are you here? I really have that much money again? Huh. Well, I'm not gonna dump eggs on you. That's, that's Brad Fang life. You know, now that I think about it, are there any actual videos of having an absurd amount of golden eggs? It's like a full video? Everything I see is just like quick clips of it. Huh. So I get back to Brad and... Uh, let's see... September... or August? One of those days. Works. Oh. Oh, I'm getting hurt because I don't have... Since I don't have knife yet for some baffling reason, it's knife. Why hasn't it shown up yet? I do not have a really good frontal clear, huh? Or up down clear. Flash arrow is there for damage. Eventually. Seems you'll actually be kind of annoying to take down the Atlantean. I, mean, I waited so long, so long, to fight them. In fact, I only fought the one for some reason. Anyway, this is always be moving. Challenge! Well, it's not much of a challenge, but it's there. I'm saying it's a challenge. Who are you to deny me? If you do want to deny me, leave a comment down below. Please leave a comment down below. I'm so desperate for interaction. It's been months. It's been months. I've had so few comments. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. Aha! Uh -huh, uh -huh. eh, that's on me. If I can't make the good content, people aren't going to comment on the good content. Well, also it's on the algorithm out anytime they actually promote my video it gets views and people watching it and liking it but when they don't promote it it suddenly doesn't strange very strange that but yeah the spread gun spread shot videos both have over a thousand views now solely because spread gun gets searched for for whatever reason instead of spread shot and that means 
YouTube promotes it way out of line with everything else I have. It doesn't translate to more views for the channel for whatever reason. Oh, do I have double Atlantean? No, I don't. This is really weird pattern to go through. I need to get like multiple ones. Right, I still I can actually get chests. You know, it's kind of funny that I went through the entire of Neil Gallagher without reason. I didn't get a single level up on Bendo Zacro. I didn't even notice it when I paused. The one time I actually bothered to look when I was paused it was after limb break. There's a lot of knife. A lot of knife. Oh, wow, what? We're surviving hits, that's not good. One more knife. One more knife. They can't survive one more knife. Most especially can't survive two more knives. Man, that Atlantean's last in a while. Oh man, it nicked me. About time to go get some of them delicious four chickens. Mmm, delicious chicken on the floor. Thus it has earned the moniker Tabletop Owl. Oh, did it die? Oh, right, random always it. Hey, well, Pierce on knife is fine. Probably should have gotten Pierce again. Instead of randomizing it, but I don't want to mess up my no move and no challenge. Oh, crab battle. At least I got enough sheer piercing to go through it. Is there Kana ever drop? No. Maybe that's on the... No, it's in like the plant thing. Not in the crab thing. Oh. That was the Atlantean blindsided me. Means I need to go back up to the chicken. Be careful. Be careful. And my eyes are out of it. There we go. Chicken fort. Chicken fort. Vacuum. Wow, that was bad. You're the one that has the Arcana. No, you're just a regular... Oh, you give me a Millionaire. Millionaire. There you are, the Arcana. So, let's get awake just in case. Now, Iron Blue Will would have been obviously much better. But if there's one thing... 190 plus videos have shown me, it's that I'm not good at video games. And people love people that are not good at video games. Slam it. Well, I just hope whatever is causing my issues with the stream yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and so on and so forth have ended. Because it's really annoying and frustrating. Come on, hurry up and end. I need to get this done ASAP. Not oh, many Atlanteans. If I can get this starting uploaded before 8. Hey, that's not right. Well, no, yeah, that's true. If I can get it before 8, it takes, usually takes about 4 hours to process. Okay. No talkie, no gabby. Straight on to the next on. 1.1. 1. 1. 
Okay, and Zeasunta does really dang well. In fact, she does so well, I might actually be able to get in another video today. Yay! Anyway, that is Neil Gallagher crushed while not while constantly moving. The boss rash done in the purest of game color forms. And Moonglow, because while it's Moonglow, it's easy and it's short. It's 318 more down on the Beswick. Four, but. I messed those up, didn't I? Oh, nope, they're all in the same layer. Dang Kirby life. Right? That's 1,614 more to go, and now we bring in the pain of X dash. Oh, God, no. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate it if you liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. But either way, don't force yourself. More importantly, have a good day and keep messing around in Vampire Survivors.